Hey. Hey. Nice to meet you. Gary. Kenny Cousins. Real pleasure, Kenny. Same here. How are things? Great. Good, man. Yeah. What's it's going good on? Friday. Um, I wanted to finally get some time on the books. This I'm glad. Year. Been here for just over three and a half months. Awesome. Had my 90 day review two weeks ago. How'd it go? Great. Good. Real what do you do? I'm an ACC on uh, Lisa and David's pod. Awesome. So I'm an ACC on Axe and Dub Men's Care. How'd you get here? I got here, um, trying to, it's a long story, but I'm trying to kind of truncate it. I heard about you through uh, Charlemagne's Brilliant Idiots podcast, and I've been friends with Tyler since Montclair days. No shit. You grew up, you up in, in Montclair? Yeah, I grew up playing lacrosse together. I love it. She's one grade above me. And um, I saw that you guys moved into Hudson Yards, and I've been coming here for another client upstairs for my old company. Okay. I did PR at um, a small shop there. And so I saw that he reposted a video of you touring this office, and I was like, oh my God, this is the most amazing office, and I've been here a few times. And so I hit up Ty and I was like, oh, you work at VaynerMedia? I know nothing about it. I just heard your name a few times. Understood. Um, I looked into it. I thought it was amazing just the number of people that worked here, the amount of services that you guys offered, and how quickly you guys have grown. And I've always wanted to go somewhere where I could see myself in terms of demographic, age, and skill set. Yeah. And so I talked to Ty and from there it was just like, I fell in love instantly. And how's it been going? It's been great. You yeah, enjoying my, it? My team's great. Um, I love being in ACC. I love Lisa Spot. Every individual person on that team, so many different strengths. We we just combine and work together well. It's like it's really good. Like not a not a bad. Day <laughs> it's here. awesome, man. Like, it makes me to, so happy. I used to hate my old job. But <laughs> I never get the Sunday scaries anymore. Like straight up, I don't. Makes me happy, man. Where do you live? Jersey still? Uh, I moved from Jersey to Brooklyn a year ago. I live in Best Eye. Very good. Yeah. And what, how are you thinking about your career? Like when now that you've got a little bit of lay of the land, like. Do you want to be Lisa one day? Like, how do you think about things? So I know, so I have account experience from my old job and then now here, and I've been thinking a lot. I know I want to be on the account route for a while just to get more experience in my belt yep. in terms of this business, field. running shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, but I do have aspirations of uh, trying to work on the talent team. Oh, um, interesting. I, I've always had kind of a, uh, a knack to working with talent, whether that was in music or entertainment. So I think, you know, if I'm hearing you right, if you're thinking in the mindset of you know, 24, 36 months on the account side, by the time, if that plays out and you get those skills, which I recommend, because you'll get them more there than yeah. you would, the Vayner Talent thing's gonna be a monster by then. And then there's just a million, I mean, I'm sure the more you've been doing homework on me and things of that nature, like, I don't know, like Vayner Sports wasn't supposed to be a thing. Mm -hmm. You know, Vayner Music's not a thing, but mm -hmm. the world thinks it is. Like, who yeah. the, f and it could be. Yeah. Like, the entrepreneurial vibe is deep here. So, good, man. Yeah. And um, also, uh, I just want to tell you something. Um, sure. I on the train here. Um, I came from my wag dog walking orientation, and I was like, oh, I got 10 minutes to spare. So I was watching the last 10 minutes of Billions, um, the TV show on Showtime. Yep. And, um, one of the characters, the main character, one of the main characters, he's trying to purchase a sports franchise, and he happens to be uh, wanting to purchase the Giants. Okay. And he's on the t uh, he's on the phone with another business partner, and he says that um, in America we we as a royalty we knight them with sports franchises. I've heard. I've and, got. I've been tweeted a little bit this morning about it. And I didn't know that was a thing before I heard that. And I I, I never like, heard that either. And I was like, things happen for a reason. And I was like, I knew I had my meeting with you today. And I'm like, <laughs> this line. That's and I was so like, cool. Maybe, maybe he'll like this. And I was just like, this is like perfect time. I can't believe you said that. I literally saw it this morning or last night on mm -hmm. from some tweets. I never thought about that. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. So it's I, interesting. I, I saw that and I was like, my brain just blew up. Like, <laughs> you know, things happen for a reason. For sure. Not a coincidence, perfect timing. Anything I can answer for you? Um, it was more of just like a personal question back to like the ACC sure. route. Sure. Because I was watching some of the, some of the videos last night. Um, and specifically about like telling people what they should do and not like what they hope to do. It's like, kind of like be your true self. And yes. so like knowing what you know now, if you could like go back to your 25 year old, on 25, um, how would you best conquer this ACC position? Cause I know it's brand new. The number one, th yeah, the number one thing you should do in this company, mm -hmm. it's a little bit slightly turned on what you just asked, but it's yeah. the absolute truth mm -hmm. is you should get to know every single person in this company. Yeah. With every ounce of my soul, I'm telling you right now, Every one of your lunches, if you've got the time mm -hmm. and you're not on something, should be in the cafeteria and you should literally roll up and be like, yo, hey, yeah. it's everything. Mm -hmm. People, people is the game. Yeah. The skills are commoditized, my man. Mm -hmm. The skills of like taking good notes, being organized, being on time, being smart, they're stunningly commoditized. It's the relationships. Yeah. How'd you get here? Mm -hmm. You play lacrosse with somebody. Yeah. Relationships. 
right? Mm -hmm. You shake somebody's hand, you become friends with them. Do you you understand what VaynerMedia is gonna be? VaynerMedia is going to be the company that spits out the digital ninjas of the future world. Somebody in this room right now is literally the CEO of Nike. Right now, somebody in this office is Mm -hmm. the CEO of Nike. 17 years from now, would have been really good if you said what's up. That is the game. Now, everybody's different, extrovert, introvert, da 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 da, right? Mm -hmm. But that's it. There's nothing even remotely close. Know everything about your team, ask them how you can help them, bring value to other people. It's the best, I I do it now at this level. Yeah. Like 25 years, like when you're here, that's, that's what people remember. Yeah. Give a fuck. Gotcha. And then, and one more thing. Tash said it this morning also. He was like, I've been hearing good things and I was like, that's what, keep, that's what keeps the engines running. And like, it's something so small, but I know you've said in a lot of your videos, putting more positive content out there. Mm-hmm. Even if it's just personal, how are you doing? You're doing this well, great job. Uh, I, I've just seen that in this environment, it, it, it seems to just reinforce so much more than elsewhere. Because it's a dictatorship, man. Mm-hmm. This place is a dictatorship. Like, you're just not gonna be able to win here with negativity, mm-hmm. you know? Yeah. Now, negativity should not be confused with critical and, po- and actual feedback. Yeah. Like, if Sally sucks, she needs to hear it in one way or the other. Mm-hmm. And there's only so much you can sugarcoat you stink at your job. But you're absolutely right. Like, I don't know where you came from, but I know that no matter where people come from, negativity is allowed because the player that's deploying the negativity is bringing value in a different way. I don't play that shit. Mm-hmm. I'm the first one that would trade my superstar player if he's bringing cancer to my locker room, first. I'll send his ass out for a third round pick, I don't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Cause you're not gonna win. And everybody, like Lisa and Joe, like these people know. That's why. Yeah. And it's cool, right? Yeah. It's like fun. It's awesome. Man. You don't dread Sunday. <laughs> you, you know you're not walking into any room here and getting yelled at for no fucking reason. It's a complete 180. And I promise you, it will happen, and it does happen, mm-hmm. those people get fired. I can't stop humans from doing shit, I can just react to what they do and then it becomes something everybody knows, Mm -hmm. right? And that becomes the culture. Cool, man. Awesome. Really glad we met. Appreciate your time. Have a great day. You too. See you at the town hall. Can't wait.